welcome to Burthen. We're in the Georgian town of Limington. I'm going to show you over the extremely popular Windy 28 Ghibli. This boat was built in Norway in 2007 and she was launched in the summer of 2008. The hull is exactly the same mould used on the more recent Windy 29 Coho. It is very well balanced, deep V, designed by Hans Jorgen Johnson. It's really responsive and it punches through the water with real strength. Trixie has recently been anti-fouled in blue. She's running on a pair of Volvo DPH drives and these have been serviced in June and the bellows have been replaced. The props have also been polished and we've replaced one on the port side. So it's important to stress this boat is turnkey ready for the season and we do have comprehensive service history with Trixie. So here at the cockpit, we can look at the sleek lines of the Ghibli. The upholstery is in white leather with grey stitching and the sun pad is a blue and white striped sun umbrella material. So we have a teak and stainless swim ladder that folds away into this locker normally. And we've, you can see we've got substantial gas struts. The teak on the bathing platform was replaced like for like in 2019. So you've got a classic windy feature here, sliding backrests. It's on a little sail track, so it's super easy to maintain. So as we step down into the cockpit, you do really feel like you sit inside the boat. It's very safe. With the stainless steel handrail all the way round. This boat's fitted with three tanks, 375 litre fuel tank, 80 litre water tank, and a 90 litre holding tank. And that's all right in the center of the boat specifically designed that way by Windy. We have a leafed, highly polished cockpit table. The varnish on the outer side has suffered some sun damage, but it is repairable. So we have a fresh water shower here off to starboard. Battery isolators with shore power access, so this boat has a battery charger on board. So you can see comfortable seating for eight. These helm chairs will swivel round so they can join the action. Off to port, you can see where the table is stowed when not in use. And under here we have a deep set fridge. The compressor has recently been changed, so it's all working correctly. So at the helm we have fantastic ergonomics, which is synonymous with windy. We've got a Raymarine hybrid touch plotter, bow thruster, tridata depth and sound, VHF, Bennett trim tabs, 
EVC controls for the Volvo computer. You've got all your engine displays there, including rudder indicator. And it's a fantastic driving position. Got good protection from the winds windshield. We also have a Sony stereo system with speakers both in the cockpit as well as the cabin. So you have the teak steps leading up to the bow and that top step has actually been replaced again in 2019. So the owner's done a great job of maintaining this boat. So up forward we have a 7.5 kilo stainless steel anchor as well as a 1000 watt Lenoir windlass and plenty of galvanised chain. This boat weighs 2,700 kilos. So she's well over spec. There's also potential for bow cushions, although this, this boat does not have them. All the teak's in very good condition. So down below we have the high-end finish we would expect from Windy. Again, all in very good condition. The highly polished varnish table drops down and there is a filler cushion to convert this into a double berth. You see we've got an opening hatch all the headlining in good good order. So galley on the port side. Have an opening porthole for more ventilation. And through here we have a stainless steel sink with tap. And we have a Wallace diesel fired ceramic hob. So there's no gas on board and that just works off your diesel fuel tank. So we'll have a look at the separate head quickly. We've got a Jabsco manual toilet, and this boat does have a holding tank. Got another sink with tap. We've got another opening porthole for ventilation again. So you can't stand up in there, but a good space nonetheless. So I'm going to show you the engine hatch. It's a switch just underneath the helm. It's a little electronic, electric hydraulic engine hatch. And there you can see the canopy bars. So Trixie is a full camper canopy and that is in good condition. There we see the Volvo D3190s. These engines have only 350 hours recorded. They're inline five cylinder diesel turbocharged engine. And both of these engines were serviced in June 2019. All the engine mounts have been replaced. This boat has undergone a full Volvo health check. Had a new turbo fitted on the port side and the starboard turbo has been precautionarily overhauled. So this boat is available now with Burfin. 
completely ready for the season, come and check her out.